Okay, Seth's Garage update uh, with respect to uh, you know shutdowns and work from home orders and things like that. We're in Lake County, Florida. Uh, we don't have a lot of cases. Uh, we don't have a lot of risk at the moment. Um, and so I've taken a wait and see approach up to this point. Uh, and so now it's time to respond and make an adjustment. So if you watched the last video, uh, we spread everybody out so we're not in the same room, wiping stuff down, um, taking extra measures for cleanliness. Uh, but I'm going to meet with the team right now. I told them I'd be there at uh, 1230. I had um, a meeting with my, my, my business owners group, I had a meeting with um, our therapist, uh, and I have a lot of clarity around you know, what's next. Uh, so I'm going to go gather up the team and uh, make the next decision and I'm going to play this week by week by week uh, just like I've done since the beginning. Uh, so I wanted to cue you in on how we're going to deliver on your orders that you're placing, uh, how we're going to continue to create content, uh, how we're going to take advantage of the opportunity I've been harping on. This is the time to double down uh, and that we're going to continue to do that. I'm going to go and meet with the team uh, and, uh, and get their input as well as you know dictate the terms you know what we're going to do uh, because if I gave them the option they would all come in every day and we take the risk and there's significant risk that if one person goes down we all go down and then it's catastrophe uh, and so I'm thinking about the safety of everyone as a human uh, as well as the viability of the business and balancing and I want to reduce and remove as much risk as humanly possible and so uh, again just like pretty much every other business owner we really don't know what we're doing uh, I don't think anybody does uh, and so you've got to make decisions on the fly and uh, you know people are looking for me to to lead uh, and that's what I've been doing from the beginning uh, now I'm, uh, I'm making another decision to uh, to take the, the next step. So let's head over to the garage, talk to the talk to everybody. I don't even know what I'm going to say, um, but uh, have an idea of how we're going to structure this. Okay. So I think it's time to separate. I think it's time to send people home. So the plan is, um, you know, Mike's going to go home. Jeff's gonna go home, Chris is gonna go home, and they're not coming in at all. And I think we play it week to week, rather than just saying for infinity, let's just go week to week. So this week, starting tonight, we're already here, we're already exposed, so we might as well finish the day out to prepare what we need to prepare for. Um, but um, uh, what I need you guys to do is figure out how to manage your team, you know, and how to manage it via Zoom. So, um, you know, Chris has his job, um, Chris, is, you're gonna have access to Chris because I want you guys to dial in the site. Yeah. You know, get all products that need to be built, build the new site. Um, um, so you'll have uh, the ability to come in, just mm -hmm. coordinate with me. So I'm gonna isolate. So you guys won't, none of you guys will see me. Uh, there's no point. Yeah. And so if, if you're, you're here, here, I won't be here. If I'm here, you'll be correct. Over there. I'm gonna edit all my own videos so we don't have to worry about that bandwidth. Um, so I'll shoot and edit my own videos. Um, as long as you guys are, yeah, you might have to come in and take photos of the Corvette or the, you know, the product to get to Mike so that he can edit them. These photos we can we can send back and forth. Yeah. So Mike's going to take his computer home. We're going to buy him a desk. So Chris, you know, tell Chris whatever whatever your desk costs. So get a, get, you know, get a, a reasonable desk. <laughs> get an uplift L desk. <laughs> yeah. um, you'll probably need to come in once a week maybe to do with returns. So if you could let him know like what returns look like, uh, so you can pile it up, so you can come in and, and coordinate that. So coordinate with Bryce and me when you're going to be here, so that we just have. There's no reason to have contact if we can work with him on. Um, and then for you, I want to split, like we talked about. So you and Mom are a team. You have no contact with any of us. Ted, Alyssa and Andrew are a team. So we have a couple of options. Um, we split to a, uh, I, think we, I think we split to a seven day work week. So option one is a every other day. So you and mom are here Monday, Ted, Alyssa and Andrew are here Tuesday and then Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you'd be at a three day on week, four day off week, and then you'd have a four day on week. So you, you know what I'm saying, where you alternate. The other option is we go to a five hour work day. 
where you guys work, you and mom work from seven to seven to noon. They come in at 12.30 when you're long gone and cleaned up, and they work from 12.30 to, to six, or yeah, 12.30 to 5.30, and then that's a seven day. So if we did seven days a week, that would be 35 hours a week. But I think we need to isolate. And then the, the advantage of doing that is, um, and what I might do is have Michelle come and work with you guys, or I don't know. The whole point is to get you isolated. And then we do that week, week to week, kind of first to see what happens in Lake County. Um, I also want to, um, I want a bonus staff. everybody to work less hours but to split up and have less we're obviously going to get behind but if we stay on it yeah, Mondays are going to be rough, rough, rough. well but if we work, <coughs> we work Saturday Sunday so yeah but that's but we'll figure it out it's, it's and um, be rough. because hiring somebody to come in and do it doesn't help us because then that introduces another person into the equation the whole point of this is to get the orders out stay on top of things, keep the thing afloat, get the people out of here that don't need to be here as much as I hate it because I feel like we're more productive together. But I think that if one of us goes down, the whole thing could come crashing down. Um, the only other thing I, I don't know what to do is how do we, so I'm looking for you guys to create a structure. You know, I understand for a week or two, it's gonna take a little while to figure out how to work from home, especially if you've never done that before. But this isn't like vacation. This is like work at your desk at home. Let's do it. <laughs> and I don't care if you work from 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. if you can, you know. But but you know, I want some sort of accountability for us. We can do Trello uh, for you guys. I mean, I think it's pretty simple for you to manage Jeff. You have to you know watch yeah. him. He's 20 years old, I and mean, so you have to kind of manage that. I'm not worried about any of us. Well, we've got systems in place for Trello mm -hmm. and, and as well as Zendesk, because Zendesk helps us to kind of work together pretty So what well, I'm looking so. for is some sort of help me, <clears throat> you know, help me be okay with this. Yeah. So I don't know if that means a daily update, uh, every other day, a weekly update. So help me <clears throat> know that everybody's not at the beach. See on Instagram. What the? <laughs> what is Jeff you know doing? Saying, like, just help, help me with that. I, I, I trust you. I trust you all. I want to be here. I don't want to do this, uh, but I think it's time. Mm. And if we do this for, you know, it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna be a couple of weeks. I think it's gonna be a couple of months. But let's plan on week to week, case by case, make a decision on what to do it. The, the, the thing that the thing that's worse is for the warehouse. That's the worst part of this whole thing. Heck is putting stuff away and receiving it and all that stuff. Be... Well, you're going to have to be managing the bodies and and allocating the resources to what's most important at you know which time. I mean, I'll come in and put stuff away at midnight if I have to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to stay super diligent on video. You know. Keeping, keep making videos, gonna make product videos. Gotta provide you guys, help me provide what product videos we need for the website, you know, what needs to be refreshed, that kind of stuff. And uh, and then, you know, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time editing, but, um, you know, whatever. We gotta do what we gotta do. Just don't think it makes sense to try to, to offload the editing and try to get it somewhere when I can just do it. And then we can get the site done and then we can come back and hit the ground running. Thoughts? Yeah. Does it seem like an intelligent thing to do? I'll send them the Friday report email. I think that may be helpful to keep you in the loop in terms of what we're doing each day. I'll show you what that means. Yeah. It's just a little recap to say here's what I accomplished, here's what I did, here's what you need to know, here's what I need to know from you. It's just, uh, so let's put together today, <coughs> let's finish the day out. Get what we need to get done, and then um, you know, don't come here tomorrow. Let's 
start immediately. There's no reason to wait. It'd be weird not to see cars here. Yeah. Start immediately. And that's part of it, because I think Lake County is going to make that announcement here any day. And so, um, if we have two cars in the parking lot, no questions will be asked. But if there's 20... Because I think we might be able to skate under an essential because we sell, you know, cleaning supplies. So I think we might have that option to be uh, an essential business, a warehouse that ships packs and ships cleaning supplies, but it's loose. And so, you know, if we're still operating, so I want people to know that, you know, that's why I'm videoing this, I want people to know what we're doing, what we're responding to, uh, and that we're going to keep shipping this stuff. And I'd be, I'd be surprised. I bet you we stay on it. What do you think? Yeah. So we just got to figure out how to manage it. Because the you know, other option is, I mean, you guys run out of gas. I come in and pack the stuff. Oh, boy. You pulled, you know, or I come in and pull. And, or whatever, you know, Pulling Michelle and I come. The, the, the key is, is to isolate families. And then there's no question. And then the risks are mitigated. I'm just uncomfortable with the risk of let's just let's just close it. Let's just take a month off. Because a month isn't gonna do jack. A month wouldn't have done we're already a month in, it would have done nothing. Yeah. Other than put us out of business. I'm 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 not okay with that. I don't think any of you are either. No. I like my job. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. So I think uh, I think we've done the right thing by assessing wait and see. So this is the next evolutionary step. And then from there, we'll figure out what to do from, from there. I mean, I think we can operate this way for a while. And what I could do is, we could train them, like I said, I could hire another family to come be a third shift, you know, <laughs> something like that. Um, as I'm telling you, if I, you know, if I get a freaking darn SBA loan for a couple million bucks, I'm hiring a, website person I'm hiring three more people in the warehouse I'm gonna hire them go let's go this isn't the time to quit it's the time to do it so unless anybody has any disagreement let's call the other guys out and let's tell them what we're doing get a spreadsheet going and let's do everything we can we to can make sure that the, the warehouse people are insulated right out right out All right, so here's the plan. Um, we're going to work from home and split teams. So Ted, Andrew, Alyssa, you're team A, because you already have exposure to each other anyway. My mom and dad are team B. Uh, and we're gonna go to um, uh, Kyle, Jeff, Bryce, Mike, Chris, are gonna go work from home. Um, I don't want any contact with you guys and any of those guys. So Bryce and Kyle will kind of come and go occasionally, but they're not coming over here. If they have to, I want to coordinate. And there's just no reason to, to risk it. Uh, and so warehouse, we're going to go to a seven-day work week, but um, I'm kind of interested in your input here. But we'll go to a three-day, three-day, four-day, meaning... Team A is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, so that's a four-day week. Team B is Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then you flip. And you have a you have a three-day week, and they have a four-day week, a three-day, four-day, and go to a ten-hour day, so an eight to six. That's option A. Option B would be to go to a five-hour workday, seven days a week. So Team A works from seven. To 7 to 12, 12 o'clock, Team B works from 12.30 to 5.30. I'm going to let my dad make the decision. He's going to talk with all of you about what makes sense. Um, but I want to keep warehouse, no contact. And Ted, you'll be lead. Dad, you'll be lead. And, um, and then I'll come in and pick up slack. I'm not going to have any contact with anybody either, so we'll stay apart. And we'll run this week to week and see how it goes. Uh, my dad's gonna let all the warehouse staff. Uh, you're all. I want to bonus you all for making this, you know, this sacrifice. Um, but I have. Uh, there's no. We're not even close. Like we are killing it. So there's no. We're not even close to like having to, you know, lay anybody off or any of that stuff. We just need to respond to make sure that our bigger risk isn't 
us not, make, not having enough money, our bigger risk is that one of us goes down and takes the whole crew out. So I think it's time to isolate. I'm glad we waited to this point, but I think it's time to split. And, um, and I think that, um, so you'll be working less, everybody will be working less hours, except for the, the home people, I would guess, will probably end up working more hours. But the people here will end up working a little less, just a little bit of a weird schedule. And you know, there's only two of you, two teams, so if, if something doesn't kind of work out, you can kind of coordinate what works best for you. But I'd like to switch to a, a three-day, four-day thing, if that makes sense. And so let's work the rest of the way today, and then starting tomorrow, let's go. Let's do it. So let's get through and organize today. My dad, of course, will coordinate what needs to come and when. Ted, you can receive and run the whole show. So I'm going to expect you to be able to do that. <clears throat> and I would urge you to keep your circle tight. Because you might, you know, might, we might roll through this and no one ever even gets sick. And it's very, it's highly probable if we stay tight. And then obviously create, you, you guys can create a cleaning regimen about what to clean, the same stuff we've been doing as you leave. That's all I got. Any questions? That makes sense? Yeah. Yes, sir. Cool. Let's do it. There's only going to be two of us, so I spend a half hour, 45 minutes perusing the emails to figure out what I'm doing. I and mean, I can send you, try and send you every morning a you know, hey, this guy needs to cancel an order. You know, don't ship this one or whatever. Or maybe... Are you going to have access to do A and B orders? And yeah, I mean, I'll still have all the same access. I just won't have physical access to, to help, you know, change change things. You know, you definitely be able to do that. Yeah, so, so, you have to see, but involved, Ted doesn't yeah. have that capability. Well, that would have to be a text that Ted... We'll have to involve Ted in that flow somehow. Yeah. So maybe. I mean, I can. You can do it. Send it to me. I can text it to him to get that squared away. Or I can say Kyle text order numbers for you to just put aside, and then maybe Ted can to, like handle it the next day or something like that. And people are just gonna have to understand that, like, yeah, all right, you're making a change, and it's gonna have to. It's gonna delay your. Well, yeah, I mean, I hope we have the problem where orders don't slow. I hope we are overwhelmed. Yeah. No, I, mean, that's, that's I don't think we problem. will. I mean, it's really, uh, we're just dividing and conquering. I think we'll be fine. I know we will. So don't stop ordering crap, people. Keep ordering. This is what we're doing. We're figuring out a way to make sure it gets out to you. Order methodically so Kyle doesn't do A and B orders. <laughs> Check order really, address. really big, really expensive orders all at once. That's what we need. Check so your address. Make sure that you have everything you need. Don't ask us to add stuff to it or take anything away. Yeah, when you when you say submit, make sure that you need yeah. You got all your fittings. All orders are final. For your mitts. <laughs> yeah, so just or be place another order. Double so check, we, double we, check your order, and then that yeah. may, then we'll get it out faster. Really, that's kind of what we're gonna have to do. Like, if somebody wants to order, you know, add a mitt or something. Sorry, you know, we're not gonna do that but if somebody needs to cancel or hey don't ship this or hey address change yeah, instead of adding you know, just just stuff. place a new order unfortunately for the next few weeks or months or however long this takes we're gonna have to we'll get it out but you don't want it to otherwise it's gonna park your order for a while so yeah, just su submit a new order and if the shipping is ridiculous you know we can go in and edit that yeah. You know, let's say if it was like nine, nineteen dollars, and it should have been nine, we can always go in and edit the the ship. Yeah, this is going to take a little restructuring. Okay. Right, that's okay. what we just got to figure out how to do it. Okay. Because the issue that we have in the warehouse is, you know, let's say that we're running out of lawns or guns, like we were today. You know, I'm, I'm just going to have to just start setting orders off to the side, not being able until Andrew comes in to make them. Yeah. Or I'm going to have to stop and make them. 
Yeah. So we'll have to figure that out. That's the, the issues that come up daily. Okay. And then we'll, so let's plan, uh, what, tomorrow's Thursday? Yes. So we'll plan on going Thursday to Thursday, and then we'll reassess. We'll reassess next Thursday. Not this Thursday, but the following Wednesday, I guess, we'll reassess where we're at. And I mean, there's like, what is it, a predicted peak in May or something they said? Where yeah. Florida's going to have a peak of this? No one really knows, you know. Yeah, I don't give a crap about any of what anybody's saying. But it's so like we're doing our own thing. We're going to do, we're going to live our own lives, and we're going to just respond to what intelligently makes sense instead of listen to what everybody else tells us to do. Be reactive to the actual situation. Bingo. That's exactly what we're doing. But, but you can't, yeah, we can't react, we have to be proactive, but let's be proactive based on, you know, actual information, not bullcrap. What's going on with me what to do? Yeah. I don't like to be told what to do. But right, that's the whole point of this whole business is that we're... When I see it happening, then I know what will, how to react, you know, I'm not going to... You know, there's a prediction, something, you don't know how it's going to go. It could go left, it could go right. Until you actually see something happening in front of your eyes, then you know. But the key, the key thing here is I really want to get the site and the, you know, the stuff I was yelling about on the Zoom call. I want to build an action plan to, to complete this, to fix this, to make the, take the site to the next level. We're going to have a lot of time. <laughs> we might actually be a little yeah, I, mean, I like that. Jeez, I like that. That'll make me sleep at night. When I when I can just sit at home and just I've got my coffee there and just Mountain Dew, to right? Town. To yeah, you know, <laughs> coffee in the morning, Mountain Dew, you know, after ten. I've already contacted Netflix, so I have a I'll have a report of everybody's um, view view counts. <laughs> this is what I should have done. I thought about that. I should pay for everybody's internet, and then I could secretly monitor everybody. <laughs> you won't be able to get me, Matt. I don't know, I'll find it. <laughs> like, I think it, doesn't everybody want a dream machine? Yeah, let me get you one of those. Jump, what's your Comcast bill? Just let me have that. <laughs> Jump through some holes, go through the Netherlands, go and come back to New Jersey, then I'll find it. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's do it. You guys do what you need to do. Let me know about it. Good.